Your father and I are getting a divorce. It's about time. Hello? Mom? I don't see you for 20 years. You've been through something traumatic. Can we please not talk about it? You're welcome to stay, as long as you don't mind sharing the nest with a few other feathered friends. <laughs> Mom, I was hoping that while we're here, you can keep your extracurricular activities under wraps. <laughs> I will be a shining example of upright citizenship and constitutionality. Mom! Well, good morning. Good morning. There's a naked man sitting next to my daughter eating cereal. Yeah, it's OK, Mom. It's organic. Hey, it's nice meeting you all. Looks like you're suffering from halted tongue. You mean writer's block? You need a muse. How could I help you? What do you recommend? Why don't we move a lot of lamb chops? Well, <laughs> could you pick on a more helpless animal? Can I interest you in some veal? You remember my daughter, Diana? Hey there. You moan something of a legend around here. She talks about you all the time. Let me guess. Tight ass lawyer in need of a soul transplant. That is true. <laughs> if you are not open to the possibility of love, you're fooling yourself. Do you carry a condom? Girls and I, we don't. Oh, you need protection for boys, too. What? what? No, 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 no. Your dad asked me for the divorce, not the other way around. Can you blame him? It's difficult for kids to accept that their parents are human. So now you're playing the protective parent. You're so busy fighting everyone that you don't realize most of the time they're not fighting you back. Oh, you want me to just let go? Yes, exactly. Sometimes in life, things aren't going right, and you have to accept that, because that's when transformation can happen. Oh, by God, I am. Uh, I'm so sorry. Mom, I'm starving. Oh, I made some brownies. Don't even think about it. <laughs>